safe to third on the back deck of the Rod Real Jr. One step to your left, my dear. Stephanie Howard, all the way in from Kentucky. Flashing the pearly whites, the big smile because she is locked up. 400 plus on a Dipsy Strike on a Super Twinkie behind an eyeball, man. Does that mean anything to you? It means I got a good fish. <laughs> that is the recipe. No surprise, we got one going on number three right here, Mike. There it is, there it is. My man. Who's up? Oh, Brad, Brad, here we go. Come here, Brad. Uh, stay to the right, get right in there. Get your left hand in front, easy. Okay. All right, here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna go over the top and Brad, you go underneath her. Switch sides, guys. Uh, yeah, probably, we're doubled here. Brad, I'm pretty sure yours is a trout. Nice and smooth, buddy, nice and easy on it. Here we go, right here, number one, Mike, come on. Oh my God. Yeah. I got it. There's the triple right there. There's the triple, you got him, Mike? That's okay, you're all right. Easy, Mike, that's the meat rise I have on. There's a small king coming in right here, Mike. Can I shake him? Shake him. That's uh, Moonshine RFP right there. There he goes right there. Got that, got that. Moonshine RFP, that's coming up, isn't it? Bring it up. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Here, your fish is up. Yeah, that's that's his. We had all four rods there had a fish on everybody right there. We we shook the we shook the king back, the small king. She's up on a big mature. We missed one on a meat rig, and Brad is fighting a big giant lake trout right here. What's your depth here, sunshine? Come to your right just a little bit. Wes, just a little bit to the right. Yeah. Steph, how's he feeling? Ooh, he's still a little strong. Okay, good. Okay, Wesley, is your red throttle all the way down? Okay, good job, right there. All right, that's good. Mike Howard working with his brother, Brad Howard, on this big fish. We're gonna trade sides again. Trade sides again. Over the top, you go underneath, Brad. That's it, do see do and around we go. <laughs> Easy, easy on him, Brad. Nice and smooth. Don't horse this fish, dude, because he's a giant, okay? okay. Now, we don't want to muscle him. We want to take our time. Nice and easy. The longer you take to get this fish, the more piss and vinegar we're burning off that king that your your wife has on, and the better the chance that we're going to dip him when he gets to the back of the boat. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get the incomparable Heather Howard to videotape because your husband's going to not, and I'm going to handline that king she's got on, on the Super Twink. So we can do that a little bit to the left, Wes. Stop winding. Rick, yeah, raise the rod tip slowly. Wait for it to come up. Now wind down and lower. That's it. That way you're not killing yourself. Nice and easy, you know what I mean? Wind down again. Big Laker. Uh, black to the middle, give me neutral. Okay. Okay, just start, yeah, just start, easy, back up, back up, get a mic. Stop, stop, yep. Okay, let's forward, black forward. Alright, I'm gonna put this one right in the boat right here, you just leave him right there. Big giant lake trout right there. Man. That is a beautiful fish. Huh? That's a big fish. Oh, we had to wait. We had to wake Wes. We had to wake Gumby up just to take care of that. Uh, I know. There he I is. Know. Give me the thumbs up, Gumby, will ya? That yeah. a boy. That yeah. a boy. Yeah. She's good on that, Mike. Go ahead and let's get him off and put him right in the box. Come beautiful on, big lake trout. Lift him up before you clean him there. There you go. We don't want to whack him. Look at that. No, we're fine. He's blood right out. He's all the way down in there. There you go. Go ahead and box him, dude. He's a jumbo. Throw them right in there with those kings. There we go. That's the name of the two. Heather, once I move, you're going to come right into where I'm standing, All right. okay? Yep. Easy. Wes, you just be ready to go in neutral when I tell you or forward when I tell you. Wind down. All right. Okay. This you see that big landing. fish working in the water there? Wind down again. Okay. Start backing up. Okay. Come right here. Give me that. Back right up. Back right up. Back right up. Okay, wind. Wind. Over here, Mike. Over on this side of me. Gotcha. Over here on this side of me, Mike. Uh -huh. Get in, let's go. Hold on, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Kill that guy. You got him. Get him. Nope, get him up. Slap that thing out. Careful. 
that in you got that extra length right there and uh, you can see what we're running here there is the e-chip in that pro troll eyeball man we're coming back here and slid the squid if you can get a see if you can get a whack on him just to tone him out a little bit Mike and then look at this one two three squids and look what we got right there the number three size the biggest size super quick to blow on the bottom that one's called a honeydew right there and that Addy hook looking right in the corner of his mouth. Ladies and gentlemen, we could have dragged him all the way to Henches. There was no way that guy was coming. Look at this. Look at the smile on that face. Smile on that face. Look at this, that big gummy lake trout coming right there and right there the big king. Holy smokes. Do you always do that to your husband? Do you always catch a bigger one? Heck yeah. <laughs> That's the way it is guys in the back deck of the safe charter fleet. Good job. Once in a while in the same charter fleet, we stumble across a bait or a particular offering that we work up in, in, in a different fashion that really is what we refer to as a game changer. Um, it allows you to do things that you weren't able to do before and uh, Brad's super baits are one of those items. Uh, we work with those a lot this year in the in the fishing fleet and we're going to work with them a ton more in the future. Um, they're designed to mimic cut bait just like you would spin cut bait behind a flasher or some or some type of an attractor. These things are hotter than a two dollar pistol on the west coast but when you get out to places like Lake Ontario very few anglers are actually fishing them. You can see they've got a wedge nose and then they're uh, they're bent a little bit just like a piece of cut, cut herring would be and they're designed to actually roll and dive behind that uh, attractor just like a, a herring strip in a, in a bait, head, bait head would be. Uh, the beauty of these is that they're plastic, they stay in tune, um, they have a cavity so that we can not only appeal to the attractive qualities of the fish of that bait coming through the water, but we can also appeal to the olfactory senses. Let's take a look. Here's a lemon lime bait that I've got out of the package right now. It comes already preloaded with what, what amounts to be about a 30 pound test here and, and this hook. extra rubber band catches. These rubber band catches hold a hinged body actually in position. If we take that off, you can see that that body hinge opens up and inside that, uh, inside that super bait is a piece of die cut foam. It lays in the plug just like this. You close that and you put the, the rubber band onto the tip of that bait and you can see there's a little notch right here in front of my fingernail just up here on the bait and if we slide that rubber band up and into that notch it holds that together and it won't come off when a fish bites that. Now you can open that cavity up and you can put a piece of alewife in there, you can put a piece of herring strip in there so that it's got natural scent or what we like to do is we come into this hole right here on the bottom and we'll take the tip of a little bottle of herring oil and we'll squirt herring oil right in there and we'll soak that sponge. So now it's spinning around behind the flasher attractor down there but they've also got those olfactory senses. Fish can smell and hunt very well. So with a little of that herring oil on that pad, it smells like a natural piece of bait, but it comes in all the great color combinations that you can match to your attractors or do whatever's necessary to put together patterns in your trolling that uh, are most preferred by the fish that you're targeting. Here's a perfect example of a rig that we ran last year that was money in the bank. This one is a is a, a glow green lighted pro troll flasher. They call it a glow green because it's got the dark green uh, dark green plastic. We refer to this in a safe charter fleet as a jolly green Johnny. It's got a lead silver back and it's it's a lighted flasher. When the electrodes of this light touch the water, it makes contact. And in addition to being able to glow this up. Uh, and it's phosphorescent qualities, it also strobes an LED light. Then what we do is we take one of our Super Twinkies, or we create what we refer to as a Super Twinkie. We call it a Super Twinkie because it's got a Super Bait on the tail end of it. This one happens to be a Honeydew, and we restring it 54 inches 
with 50 pound tests, big game, co-filament trolling line. And then we've got three squid bodies or three fly bodies. So it's set up in a Twinkie rig fashion behind that attractor. The only thing that we do that we change, we switch to that 50 pound test big game line because we want that thing to handle any size fish that we catch. And believe me, these super baits target big fish. So you're gonna want something that's stout that that's rigged with. But the hook we replace, and what we replace that with is an Adia Hercules hook. This is a number one hook, A-D-D-Y-A. -D -D You've heard me talk about Adia hooks in the past. Adia hook and a number one uh, 2x strength. This is called a Hercules hook. David Adia makes it. We've had tremendous success with that. That's held some uh, really, really big king salmon and really, really big giant lake trout. So that's the setup that we're using and we're color coordinating. Here we're running that gl gr green flasher with a honeydew super bait behind it. Here's an 11 inch Pro Troll flasher. Um, this one happens to be a uh, uh, a meat market. This one we're running a green natural born killer, but you can see I've got it set up with a 50 pound test big game and that Adia number one hook behind it as well. So make your patterns the way that they need to be to be most attractive. Also know that you can get these super baits in a variety, variety of different sizes. This is the largest size, but it also comes in a medium size and a baby, which are excellent for running behind cowbells for lake trout. Uh, this is made for kokanee salmon, but if you get in a situation where the lake trout are really fickle and you want a bait that appeals to their olfactory senses, try downsizing to this tiny little super bait, 32 inches behind a set of cowbells, and watch how fast the rods go off. These super baits are absolutely a game changer, and the last thing that I'm gonna leave you with is that when we target kings, a lot of times when those fish are biting, we stay on them till the bitter end. But if the action wanes at 10.30 or 11 o'clock in the morning, usually we'll switch to trout or some other species to keep the action going through the day. By putting a super Twinkie behind one of these flashers down on an outside winger, we'll let it hit bottom once, let it blow up in the water column so it's fishing 15 to 20 feet off the bottom, and tail gun just a little bit behind the rest of the rigs that we're fishing for trout, it will not only target and take bigger than normal lake trout, your biggest fish of the day will come on that, but any of those kings that are in the ice box will seek that out and find it, and it will allow you to take kings throughout the course of the day while you're fishing other species. It's a great dual purpose bait, and it works like a charm. In my opinion, it's an absolute game changer. Let's go back to the action because uh, we've got super baits on, and these super Twinkies are working on Lake Ontario right now. Dave Sangari working things out right here. Are we slaying them today or what? Oh, looking like it. Look, Look at, at the size of that lake trout right there. We were wishing we were in the lock derby on that. We're throwing them back right and left. I got my old buddy, oh. Meredith Halsby. Non-stop, boss. As soon as we got here, <laughs> I haven't been able to sit down yet. I grabbed a quick drink because I'm still pulling this big boy up. Oh. Transplanted from oh. Florida up to his place at Branningham Lake. And we, and we just been waiting for a day where oh, I wasn't seven days a week that we could get you onto the water here and get you tight on this. And we got some beauties already. Oh man, I'll be icing my arms tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and in a good way. Oh, this baby's deep. We got a cow, we got a cowbell cowbell on this rod, cowbell on this rod. And of course, we're running a super Twinkie right here. We just took a king on that. For many years, we've been waiting to find a technique, something at slow speeds for trout that we can continue to catch uh, kings with in the pattern. And we think that uh, the Brad Super Bait Twinkie rigged uh, with some alewife or some herring oil back behind one of the pro troll lighted flashers is money in the bank look at this beat right here dave you want to come back and get that rod watch it he's on it right there he's on that number three rod dave's gonna pop to him there it is right there you're snug down dude yep you're on there it is right there we're doubled right there that's how it works 
Fast action. You go underneath him, Meredith. Go over the top of Dave. Over top. Yeah, we're going to switch. I'm going to move right back up here to the wheel. When the mayhem starts like this, the captain needs to get out of Tripled the right there. Yeah. Got him, Dave? Yeah. There it is right there. He's on the super twink. He's out of trout yeah. on the super twinkie this time. He's not coming up. So there we are. We got one angler. There's one. There's two. There's three. And uh, you'll be surprised when we get, go all the way to the left, Meredith. You'll su be surprised when we get this big trout up. There's the color right now. The size of the bait that I'm running there. These uh, these lake trout have been biting really funny. They've been biting light. We've downsized to uh, a double spinner that's quite sharp. Downsizing our spinning globe presentations and running super baits in a super twinky fashion has kept us into fish even in a fickle bite situation. Here's another 17 pound plus laker coming over the transom and you'll notice the small size of the spinners that we're running in this combination with three beads stretched back so that that laker is up on the hook even in a tough bite scenario. Dave is putting the net on more fish as they pour over the transom of the Rod and Reel Junior and it sets us up as we release this fish for the last fish on a Brad super bait. Okay, Meredith is fighting this fish on uh, what we refer to as a super twinkie. Now, in order to attract these fish, one of the things that we're using is a lighted flasher from Pro Troll. I'm going to grab one just to show you. This one happens to be green. I'm going to show it here right there. Green with silver on the back side, glow on the other. This is an LED light right here in the middle. And when it makes contact in the water column, it'll start to strobe an LED light. Very attractive to both trout and salmon. And then we're rigging BSO flies in tandem, three of them, in a Twinkie rig fashion. But then we're finishing it with a Brad super bait. So here comes the white lighted flasher. You can see the three flies in line. Watch the rubber band on the end of that and then show that rig to me, Dave. There it is, natural born killer, green with a glow bottom. Inside of that, this is, this is splits in half. This bait splits in half, it's got a cavity, and inside of that is a sponge that we've loaded with herring oil, and that rubber band on the tip holds that right in place. Look at this, on a light bite, where all our spinners have been right in the end of the nose, he's in the corner of the mouth. Really appealing to cohos, kings, steelheads, and it gives you that active rod that you can run at slow speed, higher in the water column, and still continue to take those salmonids while you're on a hot and torrid trout bite. Brad super bait, rigging it Twinkie style. We call it the super Twinkie behind a Pro Troll lighted flasher. Money in the bank. Put it, pike him right up, Dave. Be a good pose of that fish. Look at yes. that guy right there. It's a beautiful big lake trout. Well Giant. done, Meredith. Well done. This is awesome.